Hey guys, Coach Adam coming to you today from Air Cross It. We've got Jake with us. Hello. And today we're going over wall balls. So Jake is going to show us a couple wall balls. So, a couple key things on here, guys. Um, to be effective with the wall ball, you want to have a great squat. So if you notice, Jake, from here we can show you. So feet are going to be shoulder width apart. Perfect. And when he comes down, he's actually going to pull his butt down into the squat. Goal here, too, because we have a target. He's keeping his chest up, and he's going to be looking at that target. Let's stand up, Jake. Let's just go ahead and adjust the ball, Jake. Okay. He's going to deadlift the ball up. So from here again, a lot of people here misjudge the distance from the pole. You kind of got to figure that out. What he wants to do is hit the target and kiss the target, but not spin it off the target. A couple key things, though, again, ball's right at his chin or his face. And when he squats, he wants to make sure he's down in his heels. And it's one fluid motion of driving and pushing the ball, similar to a push press. Okay, great job. He said it's in the target on the rocks. A couple key things keep, uh, people do wrong. So a lot of people do a premature squat, where they squat and they stay on their toes as they come down. They lose some power. The other thing they do is they'll come up, they'll stop standing up, and then they'll push the ball just with their shoulders. And you're going to get very worn out doing that. So key things you want to do is keeping the ball right at your chin, keeping your eyes and your chest up, and driving through your heels in a great squat position. The other thing we found as well with wall balls is that a lot of people, their shoulders get wore out quick. So some people throw it and they hold and wait for the ball. Some people push and they do like a swimming motion. Whichever works for you, that's fine. If you do hold your shoulders up, you might get a little bit tired, okay? Last thing, when you're catching the ball, you want to catch it and go down just like a spring loading and then unloading to shoot the ball. The easier you throw it to the target, it's going to come down to you nice and easy. Jake, can you throw a couple and try to spin the ball? Yeah, the more you hit the target you saw on that first one, it's spinning. That's going to be more difficult to catch. If you can do it where it's just kissing the target, it's going to come down to you easy and it will make your life easier for the rest of those wall balls. Thanks for having me. Thank you.